Is it really surprising that the most powerful man in the world should be a figure of controversy? We, as a population on this planet, have been looking for a savior. We're talking about a being alien whose very existence they are not telling us the truth. challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. Human beings have a horrible track record of yeah. following people. That I like, that I like. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Chaos. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right thing. You know better now. No, no Joe. The devils don't They're doing from hell beneath us. They brought their war here. They come from the sky. The world has been so caught up with what he can do that no one has asked what he should do. That's how it starts. The fever, the rage, the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel. Yeah, what do you mean you will? No. No. No, no, no. What the fuck, Batman? How are you going to talk to my boy like that? <laughs> Tell me, do you bleed? You will. What the fuck? Batman does not fucking talk like that. It, the only way Batman talks like that is if he fucking is convinced you're an evil fucking dude and that you you did something so fucked up. I'm gonna make you bleed. Shut the f man, I'm so sick and tired of this Batman. And this Batman, everybody's got a goddamn Batman boner. I'm serious, Joe. I'm fucking sick. And you know what sucks is he's my second favorite superhero, and it doesn't seem like it, right? Because I I have to like. This trailer's making you. There's so much fucking Superman hate. This is the last thing Superman needs is for more people to hate on his ass. And it, they're going the whole, you know what, the whole thing feels like injustice. You know where Superman's a fucking bad guy and he's got a military? Did you see these, these fucking dudes? Don't you, did you see them, Joe? They were like a fucking military. Let's see if I can... God. Fuck you! <laughs> well, okay, well, I'm starting to understand. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna find this fucking shit. It's up front. Boom. So look, damn man, they even look like like fucking Nazis. <laughs> Their helmets look weird, and they look what like they have look? Superman symbols yeah. on them. And Superman's looking all ominous and shit. No, if Superman gets his own fucking army and tries to take over and tries to be like, you know, I'm gonna run shit now. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Yeah. Tom Taylor, your shit is getting out of control. He's the guy that wrote Injustice. He knows me. He, he's always wearing the same kind of shirt that I am, but he's cool. Anyway, I like that story, but I don't want it for this, man. Obviously, I'm a little butt hurt because the fact that, I'll admit it, because I want to see a Superman 2. I wanted to see Clark Kent. I wanted to build up the Superman character a little bit more before we get this clash. Yeah. It would be more appropriate, but no, what's happening? You got fucking DC going dark, doing the fucking... This is the darkest thing I've ever seen. Like, little kids are probably like, What the hell, Superman, no! You know, this is fucking wrong. And they're doing it, why? Because they need to compete with fucking Marvel. Mm -hmm. It's just fucking Marvel. Why, why aren't they using light colors and throwing in jokes from time to time? Marvel. They want to do their own thing, and why are they doing a versus Marvel? It's not even versus. It's Batman v Superman. Batman's taking Superman to court. It's like, how do you plead? <laughs> do you plead? <laughs> that son of a bitch. Okay. Joe, what do you think? Yeah, I was like, I don't know what's going on. with like everyone, They're making him out to be like a god, obviously. Because you see him up top, and she's like raising her hand. Then that yeah. scene, and this one false, false god, god, and everybody's reaching out to him. Right, here at the beginning. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think of the idea... That um, they're taking well, here. Obviously, like well, I don't understand this either. Well, why? Why do what's you have? With the, yeah. 
That's racist. What is it? The Day of the Dead? Are they in Mexico? In fact, I think that they actually they might do be. look like in Mexico. There's a lot of Mexicans in that, that picture. That's there. racist. <laughs> That's racist. No, okay. Yeah, so like everybody's reached out, so I was like, well, what's Yeah, no, here? no. Um, okay, you know. Just, so I got I got my I had to vent a little bit, but now I'm starting to get it. If here's what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to go the route that where Lex Luthor stokes fear, right? Because a lot of destruction happened that Zod caused and Superman uh, tried to stop. But obviously it's very easy to twist the story and say Superman did all this. No, fucking Zod did it. But yeah. that's how Lex is going to do this. He's going to frame things so in the sense that like Superman that, has uh, so much power. He's an alien. He's not one of us. Look at all this destruction he's caused. Look at all these dead people he's caused. So there, yes, there's a faction that 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 worship Superman now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually kind of cool because what would really happen if, if a being of that power came down? People are stupid and people are crazy, and so they would worship him as a god, even if they believe in God and stuff, and they might think that he's fucking he's god. And he's just, exactly. Uh, so there's the crazies would worship him, and uh, like, but then you would have the people who are like, "Fuck this dude," because there's always yeah, people like, that's like, he's, he's, "Yeah, exactly." Christ. And so, he's the devil. Mm -hmm. and so Lex Luthor is probably going to lead that faction, and if they do that. And this Lex Luthor, by the way, is not the real estate Lex Luthor where all he cares about is making money. I, and that is uh, giving me a good feeling that this is going to be the birthright Lex Luthor, which is uh, don't believe he's alien. He's something outside. We don't want him. Let me be your savior because Lex really wants to be the savior. So I'm liking that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think that this trailer, stick with me, guys, is a f fucking huge marketing ploy. They're they're they're. They are uh, exploiting your feelings about these two clashing with each other to sell fucking tickets when the movie's probably not really going to be like this. So let's go back. And so what we just said, that is definitely happening here. Okay. The worshiping Superman. That's happening in this scene. Uh, you know, obviously they built a statue to him because he, he, he did kill Zod and, and get rid of it. He chose the humans over Zod. This is yeah, cool. You can still ass. see here that he's saving people. He's helping people. Obviously, he could have let this thing fucking fuck. But, dude, the dude is buff as fuck, man. And I like the changes to the costume. Oh, man. That uh, that encourages me. And then, obviously, uh, so this is the scene that I had the most problems with. And you know what I think is actually uh, happening here? Hmm. Is... Please, God. And I hope I'm right. I, if I'm wrong, we're, this movie's still fucked. But if I'm right... These guys are not sanctioned by Superman. These are worshippers of his who he goes and visits. Notice they're underground or something. They're in some facility where they're like hidden away. And yeah, the trailer's exploiting it, making it look like Superman's all on him in this, right? But maybe it's Superman's kind of ashamed at what's happening here. Um, that these guys are bowing before him and he doesn't want that because clearly in this other scene where the people are worshiping him his face appears to be like you know I, I don't want this yeah. you know uh, so he's showing up maybe these people are doing uh, crime in his honor like like beating people up so that they don't commit crime or something I mean, he's coming in there to shut them down and I think might, I'm onto might, something might be. because that is the only reason why would Batman be so fucking pissed? There's two things the reason Batman would be so pissed. Lex Luthor either tricked Batman and Batman's a fucking moron and so he goes over and fights Superman and talks to him like he wants to kill him. Batman's a goddamn moron getting tricked by Lex Luthor, which is possible because Lex could manipulate social media, right? He's supposed to be this social media. He can manipulate mass media because we all know even in real life our mass media sucks. And once they pick up on a storyline, they run with it, even if it's not fucking true. Yes. Um, and so they'll probably, what it is, maybe some incident happens, right? And Lex Luthor doctors the image or something and, and, and like, forces the message out there that Superman did something it's wrong. It's a picture of Superman going like that and a baby. <laughs> He's like, ah, he's like, oh, that's, nope, he's a bad guy. <laughs> right, and Batman's all like, oh, time to fucking suit up. I'm going out. I'm going to beat Superman. <laughs> See? So now, okay, so that's getting clever there. Um, but I think what it actually is is maybe these guys perform a really fucked up thing in Superman's name. And Batman doesn't know shit about Superman, so he thinks maybe yeah. Superman is actually the leader of these guys. And so Batman has to go out and check it out. And he already hates Superman because he thinks Superman is a part of this. But why Batman... Interesting. 
interesting theory. Thank you, thank you. But why Batman wouldn't let Superman explain that? Because Batman's a little bitch. He wants to beat everything up. No, I'm just playing. Batman's not a little bitch. He's Got my second fist favorite. Of justice. He just wants to hit <laughs> that's, things that's and be dark and and rule through fear. If anybody rules through fear, it's fucking Batman, man. Superman is about hope. So Superman is about like, as. Aspiring to be something better. Batman's about like, my parents are dead and uh, vengeance and darkness and mistrust. That's and cute. I'm gonna. My parents are dead, my planet's dead. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell we're biased for Superman, what? but but let's give some what? let's give some praise to no, to I the Batman do. suit. I think the Batman like suit it. looks great. He's it got the smaller huge. and oh my god, Ben Affleck, dude, you've been doing work. He looks badass. He, he looks like badass. Like and look at this, Joe. What do you think that is? What does that look Riddler. like? Riddler. The Riddler! Probably not in the movie. Probably just like a little Easter egg. So here he's got the Batwing blowing up people. Uh, la last time I, I, I thought Batman doesn't kill people, but he definitely kills that guy. Uh, that guy's bullets. fucking dead. And stun the bullets. <laughs> yeah. Stun explosions, too. Yes. The Tumblr's back. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so we're flying around Superman logo. Dude! Dude has fucking been putting in work. Do you even live? Yeah, that would install... That would... Make me fear him. Do you even lift, bro? Oh, man. Superman still kick his ass, though. That was a bad guy to be terrified. Yeah. See, that's bad. Okay, like and so... Too. Yeah, but see, I don't like Frank Miller's take on uh, like Superman. Um, and this whole, let's beat up Superman. Oh, yeah, Superman's a stooge like, of the government. Right now, uh, so I hope they stay away from it and just take elements from it. Because it does look different. Because it looks like Batman showing up. Uh, to fight Superman instead of Superman fighting is showing up to fight Batman on behalf of the government. That's clearly not happening here. So a uh, little bit of my fears have been put to rest. Once you get past the marketing bullshit, because I guarantee this, I think it is bullshit. And I think they're, they doctored the trailer in a certain way to make it look like it is just a pure fight film. But, and I know that they wouldn't call it Batman v Superman if it wasn't more than a substantial spat. Like they, they're going to brawl and they're going to fight. But, what the fuck? Is there a villain in this goddamn movie? Or is it just Lex pulling the strings? Or is, is Brainiac a part of it? Is Metallo in it? Well, who the fuck else is in this yeah. movie to be the protagonist? Or, or to be the, uh, you know, the, the villain? Is the villain Superman? Uh, literally, that's what you're going to do after you put, position Superman so perfectly, you're going to make him the villain of the movie. There better be another god dang villain that these two have to team up and fight. But how the fuck are you going to cram all that into this movie? And plus the other heroes. Right. Wonder Exactly. Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman. There's rumors of Flash. Yeah, I completely forgot how about them too, though. I know. So, yeah, how I the fuck are you? And it's not fair that you're cramming in Wonder Woman, my third favorite superhero of all time, and you give her a tiny little cameo. And I, I just hate. I just hate the Gal Gadot and the. Oh, there's just so much that could go wrong here. I have no di doubt they're gonna make this fight cool as hell. Who do you think is gonna win? Um, I did a video, I, top 10 reasons, check it out, top 10 reasons why Superman will kick Batman's ass. Uh, Joe hesitated there, it shows you I'm a bigger fan than you are of well, Superman, I, obviously because I'm there's only him, one answer. Be biased, but there's only one answer. Oh, you were trying to maybe be neutral. Maybe like he got a hold of his kryptonite what it is, gauntlets. Here's what's going to happen. Obviously, what this is what's going to happen. It's going to be a fucking stalemate. I spoiled it for you. I, they're not going to have Superman win outright. They're not going to have Batman win outright because that's that'll that will denigrate the characters, right? Yeah. Uh, Superman's going to get in some good blows. Batman's going to get in some clever blows. And then it's going to end in a stalemate. And they're going to have to fight, hopefully, an actual villain that they need to team up against. But how they're going to fit that all into a single movie, I have no idea. And I still think it's fucking bullshit that Batman talks to Superman like that. <laughs> because Batman don't talk like that. Batman has gotten real mean. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, um, despite that, so I gave you one reason why I was upset at the trailer, but I think it is doctored in that way. It's specifically uh, edited to elicit that reaction if you're a Superman fan. And if you're a Batman fan, you're fucking jerking it because they're fucking glorifying him as they always do. It's so stupid, man. Um, but if they go with that, the Lex Luthor storyline and address that, the reason why they're doing this, Joe, is because all the heroes are going to come out after this. Yeah. And so they have to address that thing as how do gods live among us? 
and it's perfect that they're approaching it. Yes, there's worshippers, and yes, there's uh, people who are like, fuck him, and, and he's bad, right? And so this movie is going to sort all that out, and once that's all sorted, because eventually, obviously Superman's not going to remain a villain in this film. He's not going to be in Justice, because they already have Justice League Part 1 and 2 announced and coming out, and Superman leads that and is a huge part of that. Um, so we'll see. And I hope they don't fuck, uh, uh, fuck Justice League up. Wonder Woman yeah. forms the Justice League. That better remain canon. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Give us your thoughts about uh, the Batman Superman full trailer and who you think would win. And if you, said, fight. if you said Batman, you're fucking wrong. Check the link in the description for 10 reasons why you're an idiot. <laughs> no man dude batman is my second favorite and on good days you know he'll days. he'll find a way to to beat superman but if He's they're clever. both He's but clever. if they're both prepared at equal levels don't forget superman's super uh intelligence so he'll he'll, he'll bitch slap batman <laughs> all right guys we'll see you on the next angry joe show